Inversion Certainty, you will now be able to add 3D dimension directly within your 3D model. As we can see here, some dimension have been added in elevation and also in floor plan. Those dimensions are linked to the element they dimension. So by adding point by point and selecting the element, we can actually assign them dimensions. And if we move element, stretch them or remove them, the dimension will behave accordingly. When selecting a dimension with your left click, you will be able to open the modify menu and be able to set different colors for the line and text, including their light uh, line thickness, uh, font, size, etc. You will also be able to set uh, and choose among six different end type and also change their size. Here, just to make the next point a bit more clear, we will change the line thickness. And here in the anchoring settings, you can actually change the anchor distance. So with the first radio button distance, you actually set the straight line um, and distance to the dimension point, as we can see here when we set a value of zero. And dashed is the actual, um, if you need or not, a dashed line connecting the end of your line to the dimension point. Same goes with if you are using fix, you simply use a fix anchor length. You will also be able to change the dimension format from distance, distance and sum, sum only, and sum moved. And shift -t text options allow you to deal with short dimension to avoid text overlapping. Those functions are all the ones that you also have available in 2D. When you select the dimension by pressing 7 to stretch, you will also have access to this different format by the means of specific shortcut. So S for sum, Q for shift distance and text, shifted sum and sum only. When using this, the sum, the sum starts with the first point selected when adding the dimension. If you wish to change this, you can select it, press 7, and then 7 again, and W to change the sum orientation. If we are to look at other type of dimension, for example, this one that has been added on this beam, you will see that uh, this one has been added in a specific way that you can actually change the minimal distance to be dimension. So this dimension has been added really along an edge. So you can go to add dimension. You will first need to select the plane for the dimension and then select either the point you would like to dimension. And using R, you can also change the orientation. So horizontal or vertical. And then here we checked, we clicked on the edge and all the points from that edge have been dimensioned. We're just here going to change the text font and the end type sizes and icon. Let's go for one. And here the min distance, you see that you can actually change it on an active dimension or existing dimension and it will change accordingly. If we select an element that is dimension, so linked to this dimension, and we hide it or delete it, the dimension linked to that element will also be hidden. For this to work, the dimension will need to have the option associativity checked. If unchecked, the dimension won't behave following modification. Here, it's active. If we change the thickness of the element, the dimension will display New, new dimension or not based on this minimal distance that we have set. You can also add dimension on the slope, add dimension. And if we choose here the orientation, parallel series, and we can either select an edge or two point. Let's go with an edge. And here you can still, after adding the element, you can rotate. And here we could have the vertical or horizontal component of this selected edge.
but let's stay stick with parallel dimension. By default dimension will be added with the display unit selected, but you can change it at all points simply in the modify menu and you can also change the imperial uh, annotation and also use different unit system. But let's stick with imperial and feet and inches in fraction. For the fraction in the this imperial writing, you will be able to choose from zero to full inch, one, round it to half an inch, two for a quarter, three for eight, four to 16, five to 30 seconds, and six to 60 fourths. So this is the same type of settings we already have in 2D. So here, let's change this value for three. If we zoom in, and if we were to look at this dimension from the other side of the building, we will see that the view and the text is not changed automatically. There is two solutions for this. If you want to change the orientation of only one element, you can simply select it, press 7 to stretch and replace it. By doing this, you actually update the uh, text orientation. If you have more than one dimension to select, you could select all of them by going activate attributes by type and dimension. And here we will see that there is an F key available. So in the F key function, so among the function available, we will have add dimension, vision, so to turn them on and off. And here we are going to, mod to use the modify one that allows you to actually recalculate the text orientation. Here this function was a blue one blue function in the F keys are only available if assigned to F keys. So you cannot find them in the actual menus. You can toggle the dimension on and off with vision, by type and dimensions. You can also here come to window and display filter and you could create a set with your dimensions, for example, or you can simply use that to recall them if needed. When a dimension has been added and is set properly, you can open its setting and click on the disk icon to actually save it. The next time you will add a dimension, it will come with all the settings. And here, as you can see, the one we've saved have been set to also display the overall dimension. So here we can actually change that simply by using the U shortcut when adding the dimension. This type of, uh, of dimension won't be exported to uh, shop drawings unless you export with shaded mode or representation. And here, as we can see, those dimensions will also be exported in your web viewer. So you could directly send specific models with, as we have here with uh, a lesser amount of detail, simply showing the main dimension of the building floor plan. We hope you will enjoy using this feature and see you soon.